Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hika app on your phone. So first of all, you want to go to your phone's app store to load the Hika app. So go to your search, type in Hika, and it'll be the first one, Hika app. On um, Android phones, it's Hika App Plus. Once you see it there, go ahead and download it. Hopefully your Wi-Fi is a little faster than mine. All right, once it's complete, go ahead and open it. And then you're gonna wanna allow the application to use a location that can do the GPS when you do the panic button, so allow. You also want it to send the notifications. So when you're getting alerts, so your blood pressure being high or too low, they'll send alerts. All right, so now you want to select your country. The United States is way at the bottom. All right, and you want to enter in your phone number. This is a sample phone number. And then you want to check, I agree with Hilo's use policy, the legal disclaimer. And then you want to click on one of the blue areas on the screen to get the keypad to go away. And then click accept and send my pin. You'll get a pin. Go ahead and open that up. And it's 83222. Go ahead and enter that number in. 83222. Hit confirm. All right. Now I got the quick start. <laughs> This is just kind of a brief tutorial of how to use the app. Just go through it. You can hit skip the wizard if you've done this before. You just kind of go through it and learn about the product. Click start now. And if you haven't signed in before, you need to link your device to your back office. So enter in that value. whatever you created. There's your WGN account. Once you get your information in, yeah, you'll get a congratulations and just hit okay. Now you just wanna enter in your information, Joe. Select the country and scroll all the way down. Select your gender, your weight, your height, this is in inches. And then enter in if you're left-handed or right-handed when you're, I take that back, what hand you're wearing your device on. This is not if you're left-handed or right-handed. I wear mine on my left hand. Your blood group. If you know what you are, you should enter in your blood type. Enter in your birthday. 
Enter in your email. Sometimes the screen is it's hidden, so you have to scroll up and back. International prefix, you can scroll all the way down. And United States. United States should be 001. Enter in your phone number. Again, you have to click above it a little bit to get the screen to go away. And then if you know your blood pressure, enter that in here. Uh, you want to be as close as you normally, I know mine is normally 140 over 90, no it's high. But you want to have a good idea where your blood pressure is to get started. If you don't know where it is, then you should go to Kmart or Walmart or Ivy or, or a doctor's office and get uh, get it checked and put it in here. This is going to help calibrate it. It completed. And you're going to get this every time you open up this app because it's starting to communicate to Bluetooth to your device. And if it can't find it or if it's already bound to another device, you'll get that error message that it's bound, which mine is I'm, as I'm testing it. So you just turn off your helo, hold it for eight seconds. And then power back on, just hold it down for a couple seconds until you see the green light comes on. And then when that happens, you're going to get found a new device. Do you want a pair? Of course, yes. And then you'll see that it's connected here. You'll LX. Then you want to click on the three bars at the top left so we can finish going through this setup. Um, as you see, we went into the personal info before. This is where that's at. If you needed to change something, Health plan, I recommend going into here and changing how often is taken measurements. Defaults to two hours. You can go all the way down to 30 minutes. The more measurements it takes, the more battery life it's going to burn up on your Hilo and on your phone. I like to set it at 60 minutes because when you get your graph reports, reports are based on every hour. So if you go every two hours recording time, those individual hours will go to zero. So you'll have data recording and one hour and then the next hour will be zero. So you'll get a jagged looking graph report, All right? Uh, you wanna go into your guardian and you wanna make sure that these values that are in here are set. It does take a while for them to populate. It's pulling them from from the internet, from your account, and adjust these. They're all basic. The default settings are are uh, like a, the default. I have adjusted mine. Otherwise, you get alerts constantly. As you can see, I changed my higher value to 140 over 90 because that's usually so anything that gets higher than that is going to be alerting me I do not mess with any of these other the heart rate breath rate I go with the standard just go with that and then you want to um, select notify only me when the alert goes on or someone that's in your we care or by SOS function and then just hit apply And then when you get the success, you just go back. And then in We Care, you can enter in people in here of who you want to monitor. 
their health or you want to allow them to monitor your health. Uh, in the settings, this is where you can turn the Hilo off. You can check for firmware updates. I would recommend do this every once in a while. I just click the firmware version button at the bottom. Oh, and then to go back, you just hit those double triangles on the side. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Um, LED settings. This is for during the day or you know, during the night. If you want your different your LED to be brighter, so you can actually see it on your Hilo, or at night. You want to be able to have it to, so you can sleep. You adjust the, the brightness down. And the other thing I would do is take a couple readings for sure on the blood pressure. Let that go through. It takes about two to three times I've found for it to get kind of stabilized. Um, as long as you have entered in a value that is close to represent your blood pressure. The other thing is that it takes a few days for the sleep to work properly because it's getting to know your body, your, your biometrics. So it takes a couple days for it to get to know everything to be accurate. The other thing is at night, I'll let this finish here. See, this is about right where I'm at normally. If it's not, you can go and recalibrate. That just changes those numbers we entered in, the default values. And then you can repeat it. I would at least repeat it two or three times. Make sure that the value is, is uh, they're each close to each other and not big, you know, 10-point jumps. And then just hit done. And then you can rate, rate it. And then, as you can see, when it turns red like this, the 91 is above my 90, so it's alerting that there's a problem. And then you can go to dashboard over here on the bottom, find out who your weak area, your guardian values, like I said. Um, one other thing is when you take this off to charge, or if you're not going to wear it at certain periods of the time, make sure you turn it off as the sensor continues to take readings, the sensor is very sensitive to account for the different skin darknesses of people. So it will measure, you'll continue to measure some of the moisture and air around you. So turn that off when you're not wearing it. And uh, I think that's, that's it. Thank you for your time.